the previous lecture so because of the technical glitch so we could not continue this uh, demonstration part uh, into that lecture so 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 in this lecture just we will implement the two approaches call by value and call by reference so for that i'm directly taking you to this turbo c environment and there we will open a new file uh, let's suppose we are going to use this file now so the first program we will implement for the call by value so how we are going to do that so the first approach is save this file func funs let's say 5.c then this is your main so we will use this main function for calling that do some function and we we had idea regarding the do some that it is not returning anything so void do some then it is taking first argument in x second argument in y then what it is doing it simply create an integer variable c then first it increment uh, x then it increments y and finally the incremented values are added together x plus y and added to this uh, assigned to the c variable then we are printing the value of this c so slash and c sum is the sum is percent d the value the variable c okay so that the function does now what we do simply clr scr we know that is the marker before it we create the variable int a let's say put the value 20 10 into this then another variable b and storing the 20 in it then what we will do we will call do sum pass this a and b so these will become the actual parameter let's see we want to check after calling this do sum function is there any change in the variable a and b so how we can so we are simply going to print the value of a like this at this place after the do sum so this is a printing a and this is printf slash n b is equals to percent d and the variable b so let's save this program run this program there will be one mistake type mismatch in a redeclaration so what does it mean i have to write the function prototype just before the main so the function is not returning any value void its name is do sum it has one integer argument x another inte integer argument y and after that the semicolon should be there okay one thing you please <coughs> remember the variables are always inside the function so they are going to declare inside the function while the function itself uh, will be declared as a function prototype after the <coughs> main function so i am going to write this this name of the function or th this line of the function is function prototype prototype sometime it is also known as signature okay so this is the first program implementing the call by value so here you see that 10 will be copied to the x 20 will be copied to the y and then x and y are are processed incremented then added so something some some change that we have done are actually reflected in x and y variable but there will be no change in the a and b variable so if we will save this program and run this program so we are getting the verified result you see the sum is 32 and the variable a and b values are again 10 and 20 initially these are 10 and 20 and now itself after calling this function again the values are 10 and 20 so what does it mean that this is the call by value approach and this call by value approach is not going to change the actual parameters okay now the second approach but there is a drawback in that second approach and what is that it is going to change the actual parameter values so let's verify that again we will create a new file zoom it save it with the dot c extension this time func 6 dot c first line is include stdio.h second line is include conio.h 
then your main function <coughs> in the main function there will be two marker one is CLR SCR second is get CH after the main function I am going to write void do sum please remember this time I am not passing the value I am passing the reference and to store the reference I need a pointer so instead of creating the X I am creating pointer X then enter int pointer Y then now these are the simply the link assume the parameter in the main function are documents in the Google Drive and then you are passing only the link to those documents so for one document there is a link X another document there is a link Y and now you are using these links so whatever changes you will be doing in these links are actually getting reflected in the actual documents ek link ka use karke agar aapne ek document ko delete kar diya to iska matlab really mein actual document delete ho gaya so that is the drawback and yahi hai hamara call by reference okay so yahan pe hame int se ek variable banana padega ab x hamare paas x jaisi koi cheez nahi hai jo bhi hai wo pointer x hai to hum log isko rakh rahe hain pointer x aur isko increment kar rahe hain then fir hum log rakh rahe hain pointer y फिर हम इसको इंक्रीमेंट कर रहे हैं फिर हम लोग सी वेरिएबल में एडिशन कर रहे हैं पॉइंटर एक्स का प्लस पॉइंटर वाई का प्लीज रिमेंबर अगर एक बार ही आपने यहाँ पे पॉइंटर लिए हैं तो अब जो भी काम करोगे पॉइंटर के साथ में करोगे क्योंकि पॉइंटर है पॉइंटर है ये किसी न किसी वैल्यू को पॉइंट कर रहे हैं तो जो भी पॉइंटर एक्स कर रहे हो आप एक्चुअली वो एक वैल्यू बता रहे हैं और दो वैल्यू को जोड़ रहे हो तो एक तीसरी इंटीजर वेरिएबल में आपने रख लिया अब इनको क्या करना है सिंपली प्रिंट करने हैं प्रिंट एफ स्लैस एन डी सम इज इज परसेंट डी एंड वेरिएबल सी तो ये फंक्शन हमारा पूरा हो गया अब यहाँ पे अगेन द सिंपल स्ट्रेटजी एक वेरिएबल है इंट ए इसमें रखा हुआ है टेन फिर दूसरा वेरिएबल है बी इसमें रखा हुआ है ट्वेंटी now this time we are calling do sum and please remember we are not passing a bulky address of a and address of b we want to see whether the a and b are getting changed so to verify that we will try to print a here after calling this function and then your printf slash n b equals to percent d that is b now there will be one problem uh, I have used this function so I have to write the function prototype as well to void do sum then first argument pointer x second argument pointer y and semicolon at the end now it is perfectly well save this program run this program and you will see the output the sum is again 32 our new variable is created c and there is 32 but please remember and please notice that value of a is changed 11 and uh, b has been changed to the 21 means those have been actually incremented so whatever incremented operation you performed with the x and y these are actually the pointers so actually the changes are taking place in the a and b so that's why while you are printing a and b here so it is printing the updated values of a and b so that is the meaning of the call by reference so call by reference may actual parameter ki value change ho jati hai kyun kyunki hum actual parameter pass nahi kar rahe actual parameter ke liye link pass kar rahe usi ko reference kehte hain isi liye iska naam pada call by reference okay so with these two small simple demonstration of the examples you are going to understand the concept of call by value and call by reference hope you are getting this uh, clearly still if 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 uh, still if you feel any difficulty please watch these videos and uh, try to implement these programs at your end so that you will be having the better understanding of the call by value and call by reference so thank you thank you we will meet in another lecture soon thank you so much